no screen is not visible to you. I want. Thing is visible to you or not? You're writing no. So is it visible to you or not? I have done some changes there. So is it visible? OK. You are from which state? Mention this on the chat box. There are three attendees. Which state are you from? And are you affected by the floods? You mention this. Are you still not seeing any screen? OK, no, OK. So. It would be great if you can mention which state are you from. So are you from Delhi? Are you from Chennai? Are you from Jaipur? Are you from Kerala? Which state are you from? You can mention this into, into the in the note. OK, so till you write, I will. Start the course. So what are the prepaid expenses? A, these are appearing on the asset side of the balance sheet. B, they are. Certain expenses. Which. If they are taken to the P&L, it is wrong. So that means, for example, you have paid the insurance for two years. So one will be shown in the prepaid expenses in the current year and second will be shown in the expenses. So suppose you have paid, you have charged of 2000 of the current year and 2000 will be appearing in prepaid. So the entry will be Insurance expenses debit 2000 rupees. Insurance prepaid 2000 to uh, bank or cash, whatever the transaction says. So in the next year, the entry will be insurance expenses debit to prepaid. OK. This is what I have shown you. So fixed assets accounting. After reading this unit, we will be able to understand the features of fixed asset. 
understand the term tangible and intangible understand the accounting of fixed asset familiar with the various methods of calculating depreciation features of fixed assets is fixed assets are assets held for long term use by the company so those are not the current assets but these are for long term held for long term purposes held for more than a year companies may have several fixed asset depending on the size and the type of operations of the business fixed asset accounting usually record these items of historical cost so a is that it is these are at historical cost and depreciate this value over a set amount of time so for example you have a slm basis or wdb basis slm kya hota hai slm is straight line method what is wdb written down value method these two methods the straight line or wdb are generally adopted by the companies 95% or 96% of the time rest are uh, there are few other methods which the other companies may adopt but you should understand the slm and the wdb slm uh, is straight line yani ki uh, usme depreciation is common suppose the depreciation that, that is a useful life of the asset is 10 years the machine is costing 1 lakh rupees so every year you will charge 10000 rupees depreciation that is straight line depreciation the other is written down value suppose the rate of the depreciation is 10% and the cost of the machine is 10000 uh, 1 lakh so suppose you first year you will charge 10000 second year you will charge on the 90000 10% on the 90000 So 10% 90,000 is 9,000. Third year will charge 90,000 minus 9,000 81,000. You will charge 8,100. So this way depreciation will reduce. So SLM 10 years of life will be WDB me 15 years of life will be. In SLM the life is 10 years. Correspondingly in the WDB the life is 15 years. Okay. any questions now delhi bilkul banaiye aap group sare delhi ke hi yahan par sab log bilkul banaiye aap group aap uh, main aapko advise karunga aap whatsapp group banaiye aur uh, sab log apna cv vagaira share kariye uh, yadi aap थोड़ा सा पढ़ना चाहते हैं तो मेरे पास भी आ सकते हैं आई एम स्टेइंग इन जनकपुरी सो यू कैन कम टू मी इन केस यू वांट टू स्टडी बट अभी मैं जा रहा हूँ uh, थोड़े टाइम के लिए बाहर आउट ऑफ इंडिया उसके बाद मैं आ जाऊँगा तो आप कभी भी आ सकते हैं मेरे पास तो सारे स्टूडेंट दिल्ली के हैं यहाँ पर सेवन स्टूडेंट ज्वाइन सेवन आर ऑफ दिल्ली और फ्रॉम अदर स्टेट्स so which all uh, state or seven students are from not from delhi or they are from delhi could you please elaborate on to that ki seven students aap kaun kaun se state ke ho
Get it off. Mm. Okay. So Tamil Nadu se koi nahi hai par. Uh, I think what you can do is just share your number. There is one person or two persons can make a WhatsApp group. And uh, you can make all the other members as the admin. The other persons, just in case, know anybody who is attending the CAT course, you make the other member as the uh, group member. So this way you will continue the group. So my advice is to make a WhatsApp group. You can. ठीक है चलिए तो फिक्स्ड असेट्स आर आइटम्स ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी दैट आर टेंजिबल एंड आल्सो इनटेंजिबल इन नेचर आर टेंजिबल इन नेचर आल्सो इनटेंजिबल इन नेचर हैव एन इकोनॉमिक यूजफुल लाइफ लॉन्गर देन वन ईयर सो एनी असेट हुज इकोनॉमिक यूजफुल लाइफ is less than one year you will treat it as a current asset any you any asset whose useful life is more than one year you treat it as a ppad or treat it as a fixed asset ppad is plant property and equipment okay maintain their identities throughout their useful life either as separate entities or as identifiable components of a larger conglomerate of property uh, for example you have a plant that is huge so you have various sub parts of plant but together that forms a plant or you have a machinery which is huge but you have sub part of machinery and you maintain that part or sub part uh, that way it will depreciate are not repair parts or supply items and have a significant value uh, just to uh, brief the students about what is this all about that is about componentization this way you will componentize all assets appearing as fixed assets appearing in the balance sheet so there is a sub part and there is a part uh, for example in plants you, you for example in, for example in aeroplane we have three sub parts one part is engine one part is tire one part is body so each part is to be depreciated separately because their useful life is different engine life is 2 years tire life is one and a half years or the body life is 10 years so because their useful life is different and they are significant component of the aeroplane hence they will be depreciated separately acquisition cost means the cost of obtaining the fixed asset and putting in place and in condition for use so what are the cost you will incur that you will capitalize cost of asset plus cost of material uh, that you bring in freight in or freight out plus installation charges you will capitalize this cost the cost will be recorded in the books of accounts representing the value of the asset when it was acquired the acquisition cost is historical or the original cost but may be based on different valuation 
for certain type of transactions. So it is quite simple. You will record the cost of the asset independently and those independent transactions will constitute the PPND or the fixed asset. Okay. Actually, are there any questions? But a contract number to because uh, my advice is to take the contact numbers of everyone. So one person can become the admin and uh, other persons can become the uh, sub admin. Admin makes everybody admin. So everybody is an admin and you will have to make the cat group of the students which are appearing this time. So every time I have, I have suggested a WhatsApp group and they have the students have volunteered <laughs> and students have made the WhatsApp group. And that is good for the students. <coughs> Absal, you can make yourself the uh, admin. So Absal has given his number, so that way everyone has to give his number. Uh, that way the group will be made. Five or six or seven. Okay. Shari. In the fixed assets or the PP and E, there will be tangible assets which will be depreciated, and there will be intangibles like the IPR, goodwill, brand, those will be amortized. Depreciation and amortization. Depreciation for tangible and amortization for intangible. Tangible assets are those assets which are having a physical value, physical substance. It includes the traditional items of land, building, machinery, vehicles, fixtures, and computer equipment. Asset accounting usually record these items of historical cost and depreciate this value over the set amount of time. Gap which is a generally accepted accounting principle. Consistent with the type of asset reported amount, several business industries or sectors. OK, when reporting these fixed assets for tax purposes, accountants use the modified accelerated cost recovery system that is markers. OK. Uh, just note these abbreviations and the full form of it. This exam a question. I got what is markers? Markers is modified accelerated cost recovery system. So that way this definition may come in abbreviation form or in full form. But these depreciation method are not used in India. These are used in. In US in US, this method is used markers to report the depreciation on annual tax filing. Asset accounting must keep two separate depreciation schedules when depreciating fixed assets. Asset accounting uh, that is about the tangible asset. OK, what is intangible? On intangible is a identifiable non monetary okay that is non monetary okay asset without the physical substance held for use in the production of supply or goods for re rentals to the others 
or for administrative purposes. Intangible assets include patents. You know what are patents? Yes or no? You know? Okay, I have pasted the Auser number. Can you see it now? So you, you cannot see the others comments. That is very bad on this system. Can you see Maksud number?
OK, what are intangibles? You can know that patents are the patents. Which get registered. Copyright second. Uh, intangible property franchises third intangible property goodwill fourth intangible property trademarks fifth intangible property and softwares and there are many numbers which are intangibles depending upon the company are as per the revised schedule 6 uh, there is no more a schedule 6 uh, as per Companies Act 2013, that is revised Schedule 6 has become the Schedule 3. So as per Schedule 3 of the Companies Act 2013, the intangible assets are separately shown under the head of non-current asset. So while the balance sheet have non-current assets, under non-current assets, you have the pp and &E, under the PP and E, you have the intangibles and intangibles. OK, separate note we provided for intangible assets. OK. Then there is what is depreciation? What is depreciation? Depreciation is the allocation of the cost of fixed asset over its useful life. That means that fixed asset you purchase. The cost you spread. As depreciation over its useful life. The cost of fixed asset will contribute to the organization ability to earn revenue for a number of accounting periods. It would be unfair if the whole cost was treated as an expense in the income statement in the year of acquisition. Instead, the cost is spread over uh, the accounting period in which the asset is expected to be making a contribution to earning. This is known as assets useful life. So asset ki jitni bhi useful life hoti hai, usme wo asset earn karta hai, aur earning ke saath uska cost allocate hoti hai, jo ki depreciation hai. OK, the process by which this is achieved is called as depreciation. As per Companies Act, the minimum rates are charged as mentioned in Schedule 2 of the Companies Act 2013. The depreciation is calculated on the basis of life of the asset as per Schedule 2 and not on the basis of depreciation. But as per Income Tax Act, for assessing the liability of the company, the company has to use the WDV method of calculation. So there might be some question of what is permitted in income tax, what is permitted in uh, Companies Act. So I'm writing down for you. In Companies Act. What is permitted is SLM and WD. While in the Tax Act, income tax, you know that. The SLM method is not permitted. Only the W, D, V is permitted. SLM method is not permitted in Income Tax Act. Companies Act mein dono cheeze permitted hoti hai, SLM method or WDB method or Income Tax Act mein WDB method is permitted. SLM is not permitted. 
The company has to use the WDV method for calculation or depreciation. Whatever difference is coming in the depreciation as per the calculation under the Companies Act, under the Income Tax Act, that difference will be defined as deferred tax asset. The difference between Companies Act depreciation and income tax depreciation is called as deferred tax asset. What do you call it? Deferred tax asset for liabilities as the case may be and shown in the balance sheet. So just to make you remember this, deferred tax will be always shown in the non-current liabilities. If it is a deferred tax liability, if it is a deferred tax asset, it will be shown as deferred tax asset. Okay, as a non-current. Any questions? Definition of depreciation. Depreciation is defined as the permanent loss in the value of assets, though wear and tear or the passage of time. Depreciation is a measurement of the decrease in the value of asset or consumption in the value of asset or value of usage through wear and tear. Depreciation is on account of maximum wear and tear. Depreciation is the allocation of an value of asset through its estimated life. It is a preparation of the amount in each accounting year by a fair mean during the expected life of an asset. According to IESC, this definition may come in the exam. According to IESC, IESC kya hai? IESC is International Accounting Standards Committee. What is IESC? International Accounting Standards Committee. Depreciation is the allocation of depreciable amount of an asset is over its estimated useful life. Depreciation is the or the accounting period is charged to income either directly or indirectly. Okay. To follow the provision of Companies Act, the Companies Act has made it compulsory <laughs> to write out depreciation of fixed asset before declaring dividend. So a company who is not declaring dividend is not required to charge the depreciation. But company which is declaring dividend is a must to charge the depreciation. So in the case of com a dividend, uh, companies can dividend cannot be declared unless depreciation is provided. ये वाला क्वेश्चन आ सकता हो ओके कॉज इज डेप्रिसिएशन यूजेज पैसेज ऑफ टाइम नॉन यूजेज पड़े पड़े भी घिस जाता है एक्सीडेंट एग्जॉशन अपनी अपना एसेट एग्जॉस्ट हो जाता है जैसे मशीन है थोड़ी देर बाद एग्जॉस्ट हो जाएगी 
obsolescence due to change in technology, inventions, change in fashion, change in government policies, change in market condition, one an asset may go out of use. Or last one is improper maintenance. यदि आप असेट को प्रॉपरली मेंटेन नहीं करेंगे तो डिप्रिशिएट ज्यादा होगा What is the need for providing depreciation? Regarding the assets who determines useful life, the if case you are a company, the companies act determine the useful life. Whatever is the useful life return in schedule two of the companies act, you will have to provide. And its scrap value of asset. Uh, there is technical engineers or technical certificate that is determined the scrap value. Okay. अगर आप कंपनी हो तो कंपनी एक्ट 2013 में शेड्यूल टू डिफाइन करता है कंपनी के यूजफुल लाइफ को to reflect the to know the true result you need to provide the depreciation to reflect the real value of asset first year mein kitna hai second year mein kitna hai to replace the asset you know you need to know the value of the asset in sub reason say you should know the value of the asset and the depreciation you charge इसमें दो बार कंपनीज एक्ट लिखे हुए हैं कंपनीज एक्ट 1956 एंड कंपनीज एक्ट 2013 कंपनीज एक्ट 1956 इज ऑफ नो यूज इट इज नॉट ऑफ रेलिवेंट सो कंपनीज एक्ट 2013 में शेड्यूल टू में लिखा हुआ है वाइल कैलकुलेटिंग द अमाउंट ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन द फॉलोइंग फैक्टर्स आर नॉर्मली टेकन आउट अकाउंट original cost of the asset and the actual cost price the installation charges additions and the improvements of the asset aap isko consider karenge estimate useful life ab ye bhi consider karenge residual value ko bhi aap consider karenge ye hai kuch method of depreciation is it clear to you all
जो आपके पास मेथड्स हैं उसमें सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट मेथड्स ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन फॉलोइंग आर सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट मेथड्स ऑफ डेप्रिसिएशन फिक्स इंस्टॉलमेंट इंस्टॉलमेंट अमाउंट फिक्स रहती है द इंस्टॉलमेंट अमाउंट इज फिक्स दिस इज नोन एज डब्ल्यू डी बी मेथड एस एल एम मेथड स्ट्रेट लाइन और फिक्स इंस्टॉलमेंट डिमिनिशिंग बैलेंस दिस इज डब्ल्यू डी बी डिमिनिशिंग बैलेंस रिटर्न डाउन वैल्यू एनविटी मेथड इंश्योरेंस पॉलिसी मेथड सिंकिंग फंड मेथड रीवैल्यूएशन ये सिर्फ गोल्ड डायमंड और ज्वेलरी बिजनेस में यूज होता है जहां पर वेयर दी मार्केट डिटरमाइंस द वैल्यू ऑन अ डे टू डे बेसिस तो रीवैल्यूएशन मेथड इज यूज इन गोल्ड और ज्वेलरी मशीन आवर रेट मशीन के सपोज uh, आपने एक मशीन ली है जो कि वन लैख आवर्स चलेगी तो जितने आवर्स आप उसको इस साल में चलाएंगे आप डेप्रिसिएशन भी वैसे ही कैलकुलेट करेंगे किलोमीटर मेथड मशीन आवर की जगह किलोमीटर रिप्लेस हो जाएगा डिप्लीशन मेथड डिप्लीशन जो मेथड है वो यूज होता है माइल्स और क्वेरी जो वेस्टिंग टाइप्स ऑफ असेट्स होते हैं उसमें डिप्लीशन मेथड इज यूज इन वेस्टिंग टाइप्स ऑफ असेट दैट इज माइल्स और क्वेरीज एक्सेट्रा एंड सम ऑफ इयर्स सम ऑफ इयर्स डिजिटल मेथड जैसे सब सपोज इसकी लाइफ है 20 साल या 15 साल या 5 साल तो 5 साल में 1 प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव अगर 10 है तो 1 प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव प्लस सिक्स प्लस सेवन प्लस एट प्लस नाइन प्लस टेन ठीक है तो सपोज हमने लाइफ ली है 5 साल की तो 5 बाय पंद्रह विल बी फर्स्ट ईयर 4 बाय फिफ्टीन विल बी सेकेंड ईयर थ्री फिफ्टीन विल बी थर्ड ईयर फोर्थ ईयर फोर वन बाय टू फिफ्टीन और फिफ्थ ईयर वन बाय फिफ्टीन ऐसे करते हैं डेप्रिसिएशन ठीक है तो ये आप पढ़िएगा फिर हम पढ़ेंगे इकट्ठे कल के दिन ठीक है ओके बाय फॉर नाउ